Seven times in history, when coronation ended in disaster. 1. George III loses America, 1761. George III was the last king of Great Britain and Ireland. His successors were all kings and queens of the United Kingdom. Here's why. George took off his crown to take communion. It was not part of the protocol. George just felt it was inappropriate to wear a crown before God. The archbishop was at a loss. So the king took it off and a large jewel fell out. This was taken as a very bad omen for the empire. Some 15 years later, Britain lost its American colony. 2. George IV tries banishes his queen, 1821. George IV succeeded his jewel-dropping dad. The 1821 coronation was a lavish and pompous affair. There was just one tiny problem, Caroline of Brunswick. She was George's estranged wife. Remember, this was before divorces. So once George was crowned, she automatically became queen consort. He didn't invite her to the coronation, but she still showed up. The guards barred her from entering. The queen caused quite a fuss, trying different doors. She died two weeks later. 3. William IV has a half-crown nation, 1831. William's coronation was the second in 10 years. He hated the whole idea. So he cancelled all the pageantry, banquets, and other ceremonial stuff. This angered the Tories, who called it a half-crown nation. William IV died six years later, without leaving an heir. 4. Victoria's Ring Mishap, 1838. Queen Victoria's coronation was a circus. It lasted five hours and was completely unrehearsed. As a result, most of the participants had no idea what came next. The Archbishop of Canterbury put the coronation ring on Victoria's finger. It was the wrong finger. She struggled to take the ring off. This was embarrassing enough, but there was more. Victoria was presented with a ceremonial golden orb, twice. Then 82-year-old Lord Roll fell down the stairs. When he got up and began climbing them again, Victoria rushed to help him. 5. Edward VII postpones his coronation, 1902. 59-year-old Edward was overweight and fond of large meals. He also chain-smoked large cigars. This led to his very frequent illnesses. Edward and his consort, Alexandra, were to be crowned on June 26. Guests and dignitaries arrived from all over the world. Then Edward fell ill with appendicitis. The coronation was postponed until August. All the guests had to return home. 6. George VI loses the thread, 1936. King Charles III's grandfather was unlucky. It was his brother, Edward VIII, who was supposed to be crowned. But Edward chose to marry an American divorcee. He abdicated for love and moved to France. His coronation had already been planned. So it was still held, but for George VI, he placed a piece of red string on St. Edward's crown. This was to tell which side was the front and which was the back. The thread went missing. Wearing the crown backward was supposed to be a bad omen. George VI went ahead anyway, never knowing if he put it on correctly. Three years later, World War II broke out. 7. Elizabeth II has her toilet paper stolen. 1953. Elizabeth's coronation went very smoothly. There were no mishaps, and it was the first to be televised. Okay, there was one incident. But luckily, it happened backstage. Early on coronation day, the planners discovered a theft. Most of the toilet paper at Westminster Abbey had gone missing. To this day, no one knows what happened to it.